just to think about what might be possible if the legal climate would change and there could be a way to provide protected intelligent settings for people to explore psychedelics. What type of research and what type of studies and what type of applications would be possible? I think there I think there would be great possibilities if the if if safe settings would be uh, established. For instance, I think that since young people experiment with psychedelics and many other drugs, that it makes sense to provide safe settings. So clearly all we know about set and setting and safety and and reducing harm would be very beneficial. And if you assume that you can screen people appro appropriately and know which people might benefit from psychedelics, that, that, would be a, that would be a first step. But I can see that classes and I think classes would be, if, you, if we just take a, if we, if we look at the spiritual traditions as a model, usually in a spiritual tradition, people don't immediately do intensive medica meditation to alter their states of mind. First, they will study a doctrine of some sort. They will study a philosophy. They'll study, they'll have to do preliminary practices. The reason you have to do preliminary practices is because you just, you just don't want to have people jump into intense altered states. It's not a good idea. 